Hello dear students, I am Dr. Vandana Balchandanani. This lecture is for the students of BA 4th semester. The topic is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. It is the second part of the lecture. In previous lecture, I have discussed the disillusionment and disenchantment of William Golding seeing war, death, destruction in the world. The teacher turned writer William Golding in his novels stresses the essential evil residing in man which be suppressed temporarily under the control of proper institutions and circumstances but asserts its supremacy when the control is removed. The text is showing the harmful effects of the removal of civilized restraints which results in a complete regression to a brutal and savage state. William Golding, uh, a British novelist who studied science and English at Oxford, fought in Royal Navy during World War II and then he started his career as a teacher. He taught for 13 years to the students. For his remarkable contribution in the field of literature, he has been awarded the Nobel Prize in 1983. This work is the most acclaimed novel but when first he wrote it 21 times he received rejection because the world was not ready to accept a text which is talking about in such a deep way thoughtful way, the evil that exists in human heart and ready to destroy the world. And once it was published, the world came to know about the deep and profound thoughts which Golding is sharing with the readers. This novel is a gripping story of a group of adolescent boys ranging from 6 years to 12 years they are stranded on a deserted island an uninhabited island after a plane wreck the novel explores the savage side of human nature as the boys let loose from the constraints of society brutally turned against one another in the face of an imagined enemy. Golding was shocked seeing the ills rampant in the society. He is of the opinion that the defects of society is actually the defects of human nature. In the words of William Golding, the theme is an attempt to trace the defects of society back to the defects of human nature. Through Lord of the Flies, Golding is making the statement that we cannot escape our savage, violent tendencies, instincts. And what are the destructions? wars, devastations caused in the world, these are been caused by these savage instincts and it's very difficult to escape from it. Golding has written many novels, many successful novels. Lord of the Flies is his first novel. The Inheritors, Pincher Martin, Free Fall, The Spire. But the theme in all his novel 
in all his novels is the same. He is of the opinion that man produces evil as a bee produces honey. In his novels, he talks about the depravity of human nature. He has derived his inspiration from various sources. He was a teacher that gave him a closer look to boy's temperament. In the novel, very exquisitely, he is revealing the psychology of the children. Experiences in war. He has participated in war. The real life violence, terror, brutality in the war gave him a huge influence about human life. The idea of human evil that brings devastation in the world. Golding himself has admitted that this novel owes its origin to his experiences of brutalities that he had seen during World War II. Critical Response to Coral Island by R. M. Ballantine The Coral Island, A Tale of the Pacific Ocean, is a book written by R. M. Ballantine. Golding was inspired to write Lord of the Flies because of his childhood experience with Ballantine's book. The boys in the Kohler Island. There are the three important boys, Ralph, Jack and Piggy. Those are also in this novel. The boys in the Kohler Island, they are without malice and wickedness. They cooperate each other. That This novel is optimistic novel. But uh, Golding's novel is not. This novel, Lord of the Flies, presents a different picture of the children. Here through wickedness, tyranny of Jack and his group, Golding explores the dark side of human nature. And in his novel, especially in the Lord of Flies, he is trying to explore, trying to understand what is human nature. The problems, the defects in the society is because of the defects of the society or because of this human nature. He has been influenced by various philosophies but uh, very close to John Hobbes. He was an English philosopher. He has summarized human nature that man is selfishly individualistic always thinking about self, giving importance to self. He uh, considers himself as a divine being, a person who, who is always thinking about his well-being. And because of this selfishness is always at war with other men. Men is scared of death or a kind of a danger which is lurking in the world any kind of danger as it happens in the text that's why he is creating civilizations the reason behind creating civilization is personal motive and this is very important that echoes in the novel that he his baser instincts needed to be controlled by absolute sovereignty he can he uh, if he is free to do whatever he wants to do his brutish savage instincts are going to destroy the world so there is a need to control it the story of lord of the flies is set in mid 1940s when europe was engulfed in war a plane carrying British school boys is mistaken for a military craft and shot down. So the boys who are landed in this island, they are British school boys. Deliberately, Golding is using that they are school children 
and british the british they are always proud of their education of their knowledge golding is here raising a question despite being high educated boys belong to high society why these boys turned into beast they killed the other boys the question that comes in our mind that education has a power to change men it has always been said that an educated man is realized man an enlightened man but what the education is doing in the world the primitive men are the primitive men have not brought so much destruction as much been brought by the educated people they have used science and technology in wrong direction and in the second world war the devastation was been caused by the atomic bomb so the education the worldly education has given the world um, the bombs and the other warfare so here the children they survive the crash and try to form a society and govern themselves in the beginning we met two boys rav and piggy they found a conch shell which rav uses as a horn a trumpet to convene all the survivors to one area this is also the name of the first chapter the sound of the shell conch shell represents civilization order democracy it brings the scattered boys together it also represents power when the boys hold meetings around the camp fire only the speaker who is holding the conch may address the crowd ralph was very impressive immediately he has been elected by the children as the chief and jack melody was hurt he wanted to be the chief the leader he was already the leader of boys choir jack melody in the novel is a symbol of savagery anarchy the inherent evil he initially was reluctant or hesitant to kill a pig but once he developed this power he becomes a due humanized wretched evil and he started controlling the children with violence jack meredew a leader of boy squad he was been allowed to form a separate clique of hunters so he became the leader of hunters and ralph the use leader of all the boys over there ralph a very um, intelligent boy a boy who represents order leadership democracy and civilization ralph is originally chosen to be the leader of the group and attempts to establish a civil society on the uninhabited island he creates rules in an attempt to establish a structured comfortable society he made policies he made rules and he asked the children to follow it the children in the initial phase they decided that they will behave like a civilized children so ralph made some rules he talked about shelter and he talked about a smoke signal this is smoke signal can bring rescue of the children uh this smoke signal could alert passing ships to their presence on the island and thus rescue them now he a conversation take takes place between piggy and ralph piggy hates being called as piggy he requests ralph 
not to call him by this name. But Ralph teases him again and again by calling him Piggy. Even Ralph, a rational boy, is not deprived of evil instincts. This evil instincts in human beings enjoy seeing the suffering of other humans. Piggy says, I don't care what they call me, he said confidently. So long as they don't call me what they used to call me at school. Ralph was faintly interested. What was that? The fat boy glanced over his shoulder, then leaned toward Ralph. He whispered, They used to call me Piggy. Ralph shrieked with laughter. He jumped up. Piggy! Piggy! Ralph, please! Piggy clasped his hands in apprehension. I said, I didn't want Piggy, Piggy. Piggy is the most intelligent rational boy in the group and his glasses represents the power of science and intellectual endeavor in the society. Ralph and Piggy, both of them represent the struggle for order and democracy. But this world is so cruel, it never accepts or gives importance to its rational people. They are always been killed. The person who wants to tell the truth, who wants to help the society, they are always being butcheredly killed. He is confident of Ralph. He was quickly made into an outcast by his fellow begins older boys and becomes an unwilling source of laughs for the other children while being hated by Jack. Ralph, Jack and a quite dreamy boy named Simon soon form a loose triumvirate of leaders and these three boys they inspected the island. They found that this island have and this island has enough fruit and wild pigs for food. The semblance of order quickly deteriorates as the majority of the boys turn idle. The children they are not interested in shelter, smoke signal, they are only interested in enjoy. They give little aid in building shelters, spend their time having fun and begin to develop paranoia about the island. Paranoia is an instinct influenced by fear and anxiety. It is from the Greek word para. Para means beyond, irregular and nous means mind. It is an irregularity of the mind a mental disorder that distorts a person's perception of what is real. The children, they were been afraid of a beast. Some children are of the opinion it is coming from the water, it's a snake type or something. The central paranoia refers to a supposed, supposed means imagine monster, imagine beast, they call the beast which they all slowly begins to believe exist on the island. Ralph insists that no such beast exists. But Jack, who has started a power struggle with Ralph, gains a level of control over the group by boldly, boldly promising to kill the creature. The imaginary beast that frightens all the boys stands for the primal instinct of savagery that exist within all human beings. The boys are afraid of the beast, but only Simon reaches the realization that they fear the beast because it exists within each of them. As the boys grow more savage, their belief in the beast grows stronger. By the end of the novel, the boys are leaving it sacrifices and treating it as a god. The boy's behavior is what brings the beast into existence. 
so the more savagely the boys act the more real the beast seems to become at one point jack summons all of his hunters to hunt down a wild pig drawing away those assigned to maintain the signal fire a ship travels by the island but without the boys smoke signal to alert the ship's crew the vessel continues without stopping ralph angrily confronts jack about his failure to maintain the signal in frustration jack assaults freddy breaking his glasses so the fight begins fight for supremacy of the power to hold the power um i will meet you in the next lecture thank you